The sawmilling industry is of utmost value to the Swedish economy. Let us study a big export sawmill, modern at the last turn of century. It is a groover mill owned by Stora Enso and situated at the northern end of Lake Werner. The mill produces about 400,000 cubic meters of lumber per year with 95 employees on two shift basis. Every quarter of an hour, a lorry with saw logs arrive at the industry. We are now going to follow the process from delivery of saw logs to shipping of lumber for the world market. An independent authority measures and values the logs so the forest owners can get paid for their delivery of raw material. This is a scanner that measures both diameter and length of the logs. The detector you see here establishes and separates logs containing metal pieces which can harm the tools in the process. In this sorting conveyor, the saw logs are separated to a species, diameter, length and quality. The number of bins are 34. The sorted logs are transported by trucks, either directly to the sawmill or to a storage area. Under certain weather conditions, the log piles are sprinkled with water to avoid blue stain or cracks on the round wood. The logs are fed with a step feeder into the reducing and debarking units. An average of 13 logs per minute are processed in this machine. To be able to understand the procedure in the unit, we are going to study an animated film. First, the root flare of the log is removed and transformed into fuel chips. Then the log is debarked. To reach the desired feed speed, two counteracting rotors are used. The bark and the fuel chips is disintegrated in a grinder. The high quality fuel generates heat to the drying kilns and the factory premises. The surplus energy is sold to the community. Here the logs pass a scanner which determines whether the top or the root end comes first in the flow. The log with the root end first goes straight into the sawmill. Logs with the top first are turned 180 degrees in a curved conveyor so that they also will be fed into the saw line with the root end first. The Groover sawmill has a straight saw line with profile technology. This line requires to be fed with the root end of the log first. The sawyer sits in a noise protected control room filled with electronic devices. The straight saw line with the profile technology is popular among the real big Swedish sawmills. How a log is converted into planks and boards in the profiling saw line can be realized on this animated film, starting with the cross measuring of the saw log. 
They reduce the disks, convert the logs to a cant. The slabs become pulp chips. The cant is profiled with cutter heads. Circular saws separate the sideboards, planks and deals. Sawdust and pulp chips are transported for screening. Here the sideboards and the planks are separated. The centerboards pass a 90 degree curved conveyor before they are fed into a hook sorter to be classified into drying grades and dimensions. The number of sorting bins are 28. The sideboards are transported to the green sorter where the lumber is processed. Green means here that the lumber is not dried yet. A multiple cross-cut saw or a trimmer cuts away material that is not worth drying. The sideboards are fed into a hook sorter after having been turned 90 degrees in a curved conveyor. The boards are now sorted according to cross dimensions and sometimes also to length and quality. The number of sorting bins are 36. Now a bin is full of one assortment of green lumber. The bundle is transported on a cross conveyor to one of the two stick stacking machines. In the basement of the sawmill, you will find the byproducts department. Drum chippers convert the off cuts into pulp chips. Vibrating conveyors separate sawdust and aligns the wood material so it will be cut at a right angle to the fibers for the best chip quality. The swinging chip screen separates uh, approved pulp chips from sawdust, pin chips and oversized slivers. Oversized uh, pieces are recut in another drum chipper. The chips and the sawdust is stored on the roof waiting for further transport with the bucket loaders. We return to the sawmill. This is one of two stick stacking machines. One is for planks and one for sideboards. In this machine, the green sideboards are piled with wooden sticks in between the layers. That allows the hot and dry air in the kilns to touch all the four sides of the lumber for an effective drying. The feed speed of the stacker is over 100 pieces per minute.
This package from the stacker will soon be formed into batches in front of one of the 13 compartment kilns. This type of kiln dry heavier lumber to low moisture contents according to customer's order. This is one of five progressive kilns for drying sideboards and thinner dimensions of deals. What happens inside the kiln you will find out from this animated film. Loading of packages for drying into the two zones is done by automatic time setting via three separate parcel feeders completely interactively controlled via screens. The main part of the lumber is dried to shipping dry which means 18 to 20 percent moisture content. After drying and a couple of days for reconditioning, the lumber is transported to the grading station. The package is unstacked in a till. piece by piece passes an automatic root trimmer. Here a man pre-cuts the lumber to quality and length in a trimmer. This is a department for final visual grading of the lumber. A maximum of five graders can work at the same time in the dust and noise protected area. The lumber is turned around so that a grader can inspect all the four sides of the pieces and decide about the quality of the final cutting to length in a trimmer. In a speed of about 110 logs per minute, the lumber is transported to a hook sorter. The hook sorter has 48 bins for sorting of quality and mostly also to lengths. The end dimension is always the same. When a bin is full, the content is transferred to a cross conveyor for transport to the packaging machine. The lumber is branded according to specie, quality and dimension.
The packages are wrapped in waterproof paper. All the packages are supplied with pin-coded specifications. Finally, the packages are pressed and strapped to be stable until they arrive at the customs yard. The packages are distributed by trucks and carriages to the storehouse or directly to be loaded on boats, lorries or railroad cars. The storehouse holds a maximum of 25,000 cubic meters of lumber. So the high quality Swedish lumber is ready to be exported out over the world to be used in buildings, joineries, handicrafts, etc.